All right, everyone. Welcome sa part 2 ng ating discussion on parabolic theory. Kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood yung part 1, I highly suggest na panoorin nyo po muna yon para po mas magme-make sense yung mga pag-uusapan natin sa video na to. I've included a link to that video in the description box below. I've also included a link doon para sa buong playlist natin ng Anatomy of a Scam para pag may gusto kayong review, may gusto kayong hanapin, then at least everything is already in one place. Okay? Now, ang balak natin gawin sa video na to is to give actual examples of everything that we discussed in part 1. Magpapakita tayo ng examples sa kung ano ang parabolic, ano ang parabolic theory, paano in-execute yung trades, and so on. Okay? Now, before we start that, I just want to quickly go over this flowchart. Okay? Uh, I made this flowchart a few years back. Again, para sa book po ni Senior Spy Frat, no? Uh, it details the basic uh, flow or basic decision-making process that we need to execute para magamit po natin yung system ng parabolic theory. Okay? I've put most of the basics in there and aside from minor nuances that we will also be discussing uh, most of what you need will be in this flowchart kailangan nyo nalang sundan at dagdagan ng experience para mas mapili nyo yung mga tamang signals or yung mga mas maling signals maiwasan now before you go ahead and take a screenshot of this don't worry I've also put a link in the description box to where you can download this image, no? So, hindi nyo na kailangan pahirapan yung sarili nyo. Just go to the description box and click the link below. Okay? Now, diretso na po tayo sa examples kasi marami pa po, po tayong pag-uusapan. I'll see you sa charts. Okay. So, magsimula muna tayo sa example ng parabolic, no? Ang sabi natin last video, ang definition ng parabolic is when a stock exceeds RSI 70 on a specific time frame. Now, as you can see, etong minarkahan ko ng purple na line, nag-exceed na tayo ng 70. You can see to the right, ay to the left, RSI is at 73.83. Therefore, this is qualified na maging parabolic weekly. Okay? Isa pang example, tignan natin. Ito rin, IRC. As you can see, ito, yung may purple na line again. The RSI is 73.09 Again on the weekly chart So, ang IRC at this point is considered weekly parabolic Okay? Ah, clear naman yun so far, no? So kapag kakunwari naganap yung parabolic sa monthly chart Then it will be monthly parabolic Or kapag sa daily chart, daily parabolic And so on Okay? Yun lang yung uh, definition natin or yung qualification natin for parabolic. Ngayon, tignan naman natin yung examples for yung system ng parabolic theory. Okay, so example naman tayo nung hinahanap nating setup para sa parabolic theory. As you can see, I'm using the same example na binigay ko kanina, yung whole sim, but I've removed all my levels from the chart. I wanted it clean, I wanted it easy to read for all of you para walang kaguluhan, no? Also, hindi ko rin po muna linagay yung B-band or yung spy bands ni Senior Spy Frat. Again, for the purpose lang na malinis tignan yung chart and hindi po magulo. Now, as we've ascertained kanina, etong week na to, that's September 13, week of September 13, 2010, the weekly RSI exceeded 70. In fact, for that week, Nag-close po tayo at 73. Now, I realize na nakikita niya na dito na, Uy, tumaas, ang galing. Okay, pero wala akong magawa dun eh. <laughs> nangyari na to eh, na talagang makikita at makikita nyo eh. So, tignan lang natin ano yung nangyari sa daily at this point para ma-emulate natin or ma-explain natin ng mabuti yung setup. So, alam natin na weekly parabolic na. Sa daily, let's just zoom out a bit as we find the date. Okay. Okay, so September 13 siya naganap. As you can see, no September 13 mismo, okay, etong purple line na to, let me zoom in. Okay, etong purple line na to, 
RSI natin was still at 66.87. Hindi pa po tayo nagbe-break ng RSI 70 dito sa daily. Pero dito sa September 14, nag-break na tayo ng RSI 70. In fact, we closed at 70.9406. Now, I can't move back time to show you, no? Pero based on the calculations, when this occurred, nung nag-close yung daily natin na RSI at 70.94, the weekly RSI was already above 70 and higher than 70.94. That's why it was able to close the week out at 73 kahit na nag lang tayo for the remainder of the week. ba? Ito lang yun eh. Ito na yung next 3 days mo eh. So, ito yung signal na pwede kang pumasok. Kung hindi ka pumasok dito, okay, let's say you wanted to be sure. Gusto mong makita na mag-close yung week na above RSI 70. Tapos gusto mong maging sure na papasok ka sa daily ng RSI above 70 but lower than the weekly RSI. Then you could have waited for here. Okay? Ito nangyari to the week after na. So, RSI was at 70.72 and we know the weekly RSI was already at 73. Therefore, pasok na tayo sa primary parameter na hinahanap natin para sa parabolic theory. Okay? Again, you can see this on the flowchart. Okay? But just to remind you, ulitin ko lang kasi syempre, focal point nga to ng lesson natin. We want the weekly RSI to be above 70. In this case, we know, check yon. We want the daily RSI to be above 70 as well. In this case, alam din natin na check na din yon. And then we want the weekly RSI to be above daily RSI. In this specific instance, alam din natin check na yon. ba? Now from here, as you can see, we skyrocketed upwards. Okay, we skyrocketed upwards hanggang umabot tayo dito before we began to descend. Okay, nung nag-descend yan, tuloy-tuloy na yan. Okay, pero wag natin pangunahan yung sarili natin pag uusapan natin yan. Okay, papaabutin natin hanggang dito. So what we're going to do is we're gonna mark out this candle here. Okay, uh, in fact, hahanapin natin ito. So dito sa candle na to, daily RSI was already at 81. Okay? Now, let's look at the weekly RSI at that point. Nasaan na yung weekly RSI no linggo na yon? It was also at 83. Diba? Now, based on this, we know na ito na yung tinatawag natin na EPHR. EPHR meaning Extreme Parabolic High Risk. It's when both the weekly and the daily RSI have exceeded 80. Okay? At that point, hindi na mahalaga kung mas mataas ba ang daily RSI sa weekly RSI or what have you, basta pareho silang above 80. At dahil pareho silang above 80 na, as discussed no una nating lesson on parabolic theory, ibebenta na natin yun yung hawak natin. Wala nang isip-isip, wala nang hesi-hesitate, tapos na yung trade para sa atin. Now, I realize in this specific instance, may isa pang candle na inangat bago bumaksak yung presyo. Okay? Pero, the system isn't designed for you to sell the top all the time. In fact, any system isn't designed for you to be able to sell the top all the time. Minsan, nakakachamba tayo, yes, and that feels good. And that's one of the questions that I often receive when it comes to parabolic theory. Kapag binenta ko ba yun, yun na yung taas, yun na yung tuktok. Ang sagot is hindi po natin alam. Wala pong nakakaalam. It can go up for one more day, two more days, one more week, whatever. Hindi po natin alam. Basta ang alam natin is sinusubukan natin lumabas kapag EPHR na. Habang hindi pa mahirap lumabas sa trade na yun. If you look at the same example, may kita nyo dito ang dali ng trade. Tuloy-tuloy, ba? Ngayon napabaksak na, bumababa na yung volume. Which means na malamang yung bid sa ka-ass side, lumalaki na yung discrepancy. ba? Mas lumalaki yung spread. Meaning, 
maaaring yung price ng isa na sa 15 tapos yung kasunod niya 14.5 na and so on. Kapag sa ganong situations, madalas mas mahirap na magbenta lalo na if you're dealing with a larger size position. So we get out while it's easy to get out not because it's the top na. Okay? Now, I know some of you are thinking, bakit tumalun ka sa EPHR, hindi ka muna dumaan sa PHR? That's because in the specific example, yun yung naganap. So I, re- I decided nung tinitignan ko to, it was easier to go with the flow rather than to jump around. Okay? Tapos gugulo lang lalo ang usapan. That's why iniwasan ko muna pag-usapan yung paraburst. That's why iniwasan ko muna pag-usapan yung iba pang mga bagay. Nang focus natin for this specific chart was simply yung parabolic theory, ba? Yung entry, ano yung parameters, ano yung hinahanap natin, at yung exit. Okay? Hindi pa natin pinag-uusapan yung trail stops at what have you. We'll discuss that in a little bit. But for now, let's move on sa EP ay sa PHR sorry sa parabolic high risk what does parabolic high risk look like and what do we do kapag naikita na natin yung parabolic high risk so for our example ng PHR i refer you to Dito's chart no and this occurred noong November 5 2018 as you can see etong long green candle na to Ang RSI na to nag-close at 78.5. Diba? 78.5. However, if we go down to the daily chart, which we'll do now. Let me take you there and then zoom in again. The week actually started dito sa purple line na to. November 5, 2018. As you can see, RSI was still below 70 nung araw na yon. Nagsimula lang siyang tumaas dito. Now, on November 7, RSI was at 76. So, pasok na tayo sa parameters natin. However, on this day, yung November 8, pumitik na. RSI went up to 79.75. Now, since the week closed at 78 point something, ba? Na RSI, and hindi ko naman na maaatras yung oras, meaning I can't show you yung exact na, oh, itong araw na to, ganito yung itsura ng RSI sa weekly. You'll just have to take my word on it, no? Na itong 79.75 na to was higher than the weekly RSI. Therefore, pasok na siya sa parameters for PHR, or parabolic high risk. As a reminder, ang parameters ng PHR is when the daily RSI is higher than the weekly RSI and both are above 70. So since ito was at 79 and yung weekly natin nag-close siya around 78, di ba? Therefore, mas mataas yung daily natin kaysa sa weekly na RSI. So, parabolic high risk na siya. Ang sabi natin when we discussed that last week was you had a choice. You can either choose to trail your stop using whatever means you see fit, or you can choose to slice your way out of your position habang tumataas yung price. So what could we have done? Next day, na green candle tayo, maybe we decide na, huh, medyo tapish ng konti, ah, yung itsura, dito muloy. So maybe you slice there. Okay? Slice there. Nag 81.74 siya, ay 47. And as we know, again, nag close tong week na to, at 78 point something yung RSI. Therefore, at this time, hindi pa tayo pasok ng EPHR. PHR pa rin tayo kahit na yung daily na RSI is already above 80. Clear ba yun? Kaya ito yung sinadya kong pinili example eh, para lang matakal yung specific situation na yun. Kahit na ang daily RSI above 80 na, pero ang weekly RSI ay hindi pa Ito po ay considered PHR pa rin. Okay? Kapag kapareho na silang above 80, doon po tayo nagiging EPHR. So dahil PHR pa rin tayo, you could have decided na on this candle, you know what? 80 plus na RSI, I'm going to trim. Diba? I'm going to trim here, and then maybe you want to set your stop beneath this candle. Naniniguro ka. 
Diba? Takot ka kahit sa gap fill. Naniniguro ka. Or perhaps you want to set it a little lower para lang pwedeng baka mag-fill yung gap then mag-bounce. That's totally up to you. Tapos tumuloy. Diba? Tumuloy. Maybe you want to trail your stop here again. Pero at this point, okay, nung November 12 na na-candle. So let's mark that out. Then bumalik tayo sa weekly. Dito. RSI nito was already at 80 as well. Therefore, since from PHR, naging EPHR na tayo, naging extreme parabolic high risk na, labas na tayo sa position. We are out. Now, again, maikita nyo na in this specific instance, okay, may inangat pa tayo ng konti, pero konting-konti na lang. After that, bumaksak na rin yung price. Okay? So, I hope na clear up ko yung concept ng parabolic theory, what to look for, nakapagbigay tayo ng example. Nagbigay tayo ng examples ng PHR and ng EPHR. Nagbigay din tayo ng example kung ano nga ba ang kinoconsider natin as parabolic. Ngayon naman, magbibigay tayo ng example ng paraburst. Okay? Para malinaw sa inyo, ano yung paraburst. Lagi ba siyang nangyayari? No. Okay? Hindi siya laging nangyayari. Or at the very least, it doesn't always happen in both a drastic and swift manner. May mga pagkakataon na it slowly dies down. May mga pagkakataon na bigla siyang lumalagapak. At yun yung ipapakita ko sa inyong example next. Okay. So, ito naman po yung example natin ng paraburst. Now, as you can see here, diba, yung RSI obviously nag-EPHR na, 88, 89 na yung RSI dito sa FA. And this was back in January 19, 2021. Okay, ano yung nangyari nung pumutok? Pumutok tayo, we went to the downside, it tried to bounce back, came back to this area. And you might be thinking, sayang, dapat na-trail ko yan. Huwag nyo na muna isipin yun focus on the system, no? And then from there, from 3 pesos and uh, 50 cents, 45 cents na high, 3.45, nasa na tayo ngayon? Nagparaburst na tayo, and now price is back at 58 cents. Okay? Yan ang itsura ng paraburst. It may not always happen quickly, it may not happen always slowly, but when it happens, talagang wasakan yan ng portfolio. Kung pipilitin yung saluhin, pipilitin yung hawakan, all because, ay sayang yung average ko ng ganito, sayang yung average ko ng ganyan. This is what could happen to you. Again, I am not saying that it always happens. I'm not even saying it always happens in this manner. But do you really want to find yourselves caught with your pants down kung nangyari nga siya? I would sincerely Hope not. No? Now, I understand some of you may be thinking, paano ko gagawin lahat yan kapag sa actual trade na? Diba? Na-discuss mo yung theory, na-discuss mo yung concept, na-discuss mo yung mga examples. Paano ko gagawin yan kapag sa actual trade na? Okay? Now, unfortunately, napakahaba na naman na ulit ng video na to. I didn't think that giving examples would take this long. So, I would be including a trade walkthrough in our Q&A video. I'll talk more about the Q&A video in a bit, no? But I'll be including a trade walkthrough of a trade I took using this exact system and I'll walk you through every single step of the way. Saan ako nag-enter? Bakit ako nag-enter doon? Paano ko trinail yung stop ko? Paano ako nag-slice? Paano ako nag-exit? And so on. Diba? I'll take you through it step by step for everything to make more sense. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. No? I hope na after uh, nung explanations natin sa part 1, tapos ngayon mga examples natin sa part 2, mas nagme-make sense na po sa inyo yung mga pinag-uusapan natin when it comes to parabolics and parabolic theory. Okay? Now, I realize that I have a few unanswered questions from DMs and a few unanswered questions from yung mga comment section, no? Uh, I tried including them in this video, kaso, again, nagiging masyadong mahaba, eh. So, what we're gonna do is we are gonna include those questions in a separate video next week. Magkakaroon tayo ng Q&A, no? 
So, kung meron po kayong mga tanong, so far, not just sa parabolic theory, pero lahat na napag-usapan natin so far, please do post them in the comment section below or as always, you can DM me or what have you para mabigay ko rin po kay Senior Spy Frat para masagutan and mapapost po natin as one whole video na purely Q&A. Now, dahil kailangan ko pa po itong idaan kay Senior Spy Frat, maglalagay po ako ng deadline. Hanggang Wednesday lang po, yung deadline natin for submission of the questions, no? Kung hindi nyo po na-submit by Wednesday night, hindi ko na po may entertain yung mga questions nyo dahil baka hindi wala na pong oras si senior para daanan po yun. Okay, I wanted to make sure na idadaan ko po sa kanya yung mga tanong nyo para mas merong personal touch, kumbaga. But ang flip side nun, kailangan respetuhin din po natin yung oras si senior at magbigay po tayo ng ample lead time para may oras po siya na sagutin lahat yun. Alright? So as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. I look forward to receiving your questions. Good luck and happy trading.